Hey everyone, this is my discussion code video about airlines uh, and how they operate. And I chose Republic, Endeavor, and United. I'm going to start by talking about Republic. Republic's a pretty cool, pretty good airline. Uh, I plan on applying to them. I really like the planes that they fly. So they, uh, their president and CEO is Brian Bradford. He joined in 1999, and he saw the revenue increase from 85 million to 1.3 billion. And that's pretty impressive. Uh, so he's really grown the company. They're based in Indianapolis, and they mainly they're regional. So they do flights mainly within the United States. They don't do really much international, and they take flights from United, uh, Delta, and American, and things like, or not really Delta, but United American. And they basically just fly little uh, flights throughout the United States and uh, small regional jets. They had uh, 1.39 thousand in 2000. 31.39 thousand daily uh, flights, which is pretty good, and it dropped to 1,000 in June of 2021, which is what you would expect to see a drop because of COVID. Um, they typically fly; they have a fleet of about 200 Embraer 170, 175s, which is very fairly new plane. Um, they uh, fly about Mach 0.82, and they can go up to about 41,000 feet, and they're really nice aircraft. Again, short to mid-range flights, and a uh, bit about their customer service: they offer low rates and a uh, timely notice of cancellations and delay and committed to minimize, minimizing delays on the runway, which they have a little uh, plan for. And then the next company I'm going to talk about is Endeavor. Endeavor is a subsi subsidiary of Delta, and they, they're a pretty good company to work for, too. They'll actually, for this past year, they'll pay for um, any people who or any uh, anyone who's working for them to uh, commute to their jobs. A lot of people who work for them will commute instead of live at their uh, hubs. It's originally founded in 1985 by Jim Jim Graham, who's the current CEO. And some of this data and some of this data uh, they I got from Statistics.com and their website. And the revenue for Endeavor was fairly consistent the past 16 years. Peaked in 2005 at 841 million dollars in revenue. And lowest 2015 at 426 million. They dropped off a bit because of COVID as well. Yeah, it dropped from 653 million to 519 million from 2020, 2019 to 2020, which is substantial. They have uh, 193 regional jets, mostly CRJs 900s, which is not you know not too bad. Uh, but I mean, you know, the Embraer that Republic has is a little better. Um, and they got hubs in Atlanta, Detroit, and Cincinnati. And then the last one I'm going to talk about is United. United was started, and this is a major airline, so they do an international travel, and they're considered a major airline. And they uh, were actually founded in 1929 by a guy named William Boeing. You probably heard of him, made uh, sort of Boeing. And it's one of the largest air carriers in North America. They have 332 destinations with uh, current with about 36 million passengers in 2021. This would be a pretty cool company to fly for in the future. They're um, a little harder to get to, of course. They fly wide and narrow body aircraft. With they have about 362 737s and for narrow bodies, and they have 96 777s and 54 767 s wide body. It's not surprised they use a lot of Boeing aircraft, considering who founded them. Current CEO is Scott Kirby. And I got this from Macro Trends, and I got the previous information just from their website. Uh, Macro Trends is uh, they get, they actually had forty three billion dollars of revenue in two thousand nineteen, which was its peak. Dropped quite a bit to about ten billion in twenty twenty one. So that's a substantial drop. And uh, the the regionals have been picking it back up faster than the majors, simply because regional travel is readily more readily available. However, national travel has suffered quite a bit. And that is all I have for you.